loading here. There we go. All right. Good afternoon, New Bedford Guide. This is Mike Sylvia, editor in chief at New Bedford Guide. I'm here with a special guest, Rosemary Gill. She is the executive director at the Zytian Theater. Unfortunately, Zytian Theater right now is has been closed since this whole coronavirus um, pandemic has started. But they have a great, brilliant idea that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in, which is Zytian um, Drive-In, which is we're going to go over, which is going to be at the C Street Ferry, the Whale's Tooth parking lot. It's very interesting. We're going to have concerts. We're going to have movie nights. The uh, movie nights are $25 per vehicle or $50 for the concerts. And the first one kicks off this Thursday. So how are you doing, Rosemary? You're at your home working from home right now, huh? Yes, we've been working from home since uh, since this all started. But uh, yeah, we're very excited with this announcement, Mike. Thanks for having us on. So give me the, what was the thought behind doing the drive-in? Just because obviously there's like tyranny, you can't bring in people right now, but the drive-in kind of allows that space, huh? Yeah, so exactly. Um, you know, initially um, and all along, we've been um, offering virtual uh, classes in the arts, which we used to do in person. Um, and we, we were able to run a few uh, live stream concerts. But then we started exploring this idea of a drive-in and, and um, connected with the city and then uh, found the Wales Tooth parking lot, which works out ideally, and knew that um, you know, the lot wouldn't be fully, uh, fully operating until probably uh, the 4th of July. So uh, that's what we decided to do. We decided to um, put up a few concerts and movies between now and the 4th of July, and we put it together um, pretty quickly. And uh, we're excited to, to share. All right, so I, I see uh, Morrissey Boulevard. I'm gonna bring them in real quick. We're gonna talk because they're the first act. So you guys Hi. are live. How y'all doing over there? Hi. Hi. How's it going? All right, so you guys are the, so we'll, I'll throw a question over to you guys. So Morrissey Boulevard, it's uh, Zoe. And why don't you guys introduce everyone over there? All right, uh, my name's Zan, I'm 20. I'm Zoe. I'm 17. I'm Wilson, and I've always wanted to be on New Bedford Guy. <laughs> uh, I'm Henry. I'm 15. I play guitar and I sing. Oh, I play keyboards and I sing as well. I play the drums. I play bass. All right, so Morrissey Boulevard, they've been around New Bedford a lot, or really around the South Coast playing a lot. Um, they're going to be playing Thursday, June 18th at 7 p.m. And it's a great thing that the Zytian has done, which is bring, you know, you, you pay per car. So you try to stuff people in. I don't know if you can stuff people into the uh, trunk like you used to do in the 50s and 60s. That's not recommended, but it's $50 per car. Um, you know, we have, I have something on the website of, uh, of a, um, you know, trailer, but you guys can actually probably play some. It looks like you're all ready to play some for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you can play some. Why don't you guys give us a little sound of what we can expect uh, Thursday? Right, yeah, cool. I'd love to. Cool. All right, so while they're setting up, I'll let them uh, set up, we'll talk. So um, Rosemary, there's gonna be, it's kind of a condensed, um, really like an intro to the summer. So it's gonna be in a tight schedule over the next couple of weeks, right? Yeah, we've only uh, we can only use the parking lot until the end of June. Uh, we hope to uh, mm -hmm. either find another location to offer the um, concerts and movies, or pick it up, uh, pick them up again um, after uh, Labor Day. And um, it's just fantastic. We are keeping people safe, and uh, the nature of a drive-in allows people to keep the social, you know, uh, social distancing, uh, allows us to get get these bands working and uh, performers working. So they'll actually be, you know, you're seeing them now in their garage maybe, um, but they'll be live on a stage that we'll be uh, directing out at the parking lot and the sound will be, um, uh, will go out either through, uh, both from a PA and uh, through people's car radios through an FM transmitter. So they'll be live and uh, you can listen live or through your radio. All right, so you guys ready over there? Yeah. All right, here we go. What, what, I have a question. What genre do, would you like to hear? Um, I guess a little rock. A little some rock? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. This is a tune by uh, 
originally recorded by uh, Aretha Franklin. Here we go. <laughs> Great. Now, obviously, it's going to sound so much better in person. Um, it's So we want people to go out there. The weather looks great this Thursday. Now, to be fair, we're going to have to come by and visit you guys if you guys are going to practice and give you guys some um, some quality sound that we can bring into your studio. You guys practicing on uh, Thursday? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right. We're going to have to set some up, come down there, and um, bring our um, our smartphone with a nice microphone there. Um, you guys sounded great, and we appreciate it. Um, 
So this is this kicks off uh, the whole thing, the drive in for, from the Zaytarian Theater, right, Rosemary? It does. They're they're, they're our kickoff show for sure. Yeah. So I'm just going to pull up. Um, I'm going to pull up the website right now, and kind of we're going to go through a little bit of what people are going to expect over the next couple of weeks. We're going to pull up. If you go to the Zaytarian.org forward slash uh, forward slash drive in, you're going to come to this page. Right here, we have Morrissey Boulevard, June 18th. We have the Hip Shop Band, June 20. Pearly Baker, everyone's uh, old school kind of music acoustic show on June 25th. Um, we have Ryan uh, Mont Blau. Is it Mont Blau or Mont Blue? <laughs> June 25th. Mont Blue. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, June 22nd. Um, now we're getting into, I believe, the movies, right? And then Harriet, June 23rd. Sonic the Hedgehog, June 24th. Yeah, so we're squeezing in uh, everything we can within a short period of time while we've got the uh, the parking lot. We think we've set, you know, we think we've set up a great lineup. These kids, uh, Morrissey Boulevard, from a, a local family, have done a great job uh, performing um, all over the area and the the country. As far as I know, they play. You heard them playing a little bit of R and B, but uh, they play like they mentioned rock, pop. I think for uh, the folks who have um, young kids uh, all the way up to, you know, all ages will really enjoy everything that they hear on, on Thursday. Great night for teenagers to come out as well. I'm sure these guys attract a lot of uh, young friends and uh, high school buddies and, and such. Really um, should be a very, very fun night. Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go by there and bring our. Um our instruments there to get them because you can't really get a great sound to the internet but you got to see them live we've seen them live um and they're it's it's an amazing sound and we're going to come by there this week and actually show them off a little bit better than coming through this kind of an internet um scene and it's so uh the folks over at um morrissey boulevard just tell me a little bit more about the band so you how many of you are still in high school or middle school <laughs> even oh, actually uh, so <laughs> zoe just graduated from staying Proud uh, Stang banger. She's she's done right. Yeah. <laughs> Henry, uh, I'm still at Stang. I'm gonna be a sophomore next year. And then Wilson. Uh, is... I just came out of seventh grade, and I'm going to eighth grade. Yeah, it's amazing. So, how did you guys form a band together? You guys all live near each other, or kind of? <laughs> yeah. So we're all siblings. Same mom, same dad. Uh, oh, okay. Everyone is everyone is siblings. Yeah. We're all we're all we're all siblings. Um, this is we're in our house right now, and and so now one one March about maybe three four years ago now. Yeah, March break. March break, the big March break. There, yeah, we had two weeks off, and we just kind of we'd all been taking lessons separately for a while, and for the first time we came together and started playing. I think maybe dad or mom had taken the technology or the video games, and, uh, <laughs> so for whatever reason something you know. Allow, just, allowed us to uh, like kind of discover the fact that it's a lot more fun to play together. Yeah. It is to play and then we alone. did like an open mic uh, in downtown New Bedford. We did an open mic downtown New and Bedford then, at uh, Cafe Arpeggio. That was our first little like, you know, public, uh, you know, gig that we did. And it was just like two songs. Uh, Art Tebbets is a real yeah. mentor of mine who mm -hmm. gave us that opportunity as he's given many opportunities to young kids. And I think a lot of local musicians were also super generous in sharing their stages with us. Like, I don't think necessarily we may have deserved it at the time, but I mean, they definitely were very open about, you know, Marcus Montero, John Fernandez, there's all people who kind of just kind of let us play with them, which is really cool because I think we really grew uh, into yeah. ourselves a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think most people remember your um, dad, he was the uh, economic development um, director. Um, for a while, right, in the city of New Bedford. And I remember him as that when I first started New Bedford Guide, and he, he helped us out a lot, um, you know, getting us going and talking, you know, through the city and stuff like that. So it's good to see his kids are doing so well into the music industry. And um, so, yeah, we want to get people over there, and this is something that's different. And I don't think you, you're all too young for this, but and I might even be too young, and Rosemary's too young for this, but people oh, used no. to, you know? <laughs> But people used to drive cars into you know, watch movies outside and sneak, you know, into the trunk and, and go do this. So it's something that's coming back and something positive from this whole coronavirus thing. I think it's going to be a fun, fun event. And it's just Thursday at 7 p.m. We have a link inside the um, description. 
And we have a lot of other events coming up and we're going to coordinate with the band and give you guys a live preview where we can actually be at their location. You can hear the great sound that they have to offer for Thursday night. Um, so yeah, Rosemary, um, anything else you want to add? Yeah, I just want to let people know this is, um, you know, we're taking into consideration all safety precautions. Uh, folks um, if, uh, will be allowed outside of their car. There'll be a, a, a free space between each car. So a full car space, uh, car length between each car. If people want to get out of their cars, they can only to one side, of the, you know, the driver's side of the car. Anytime they're out of the car, they'll have to wear face masks. We're asking uh, no visiting, so they're not allowed to walk around and see their friends and, and everything. We just ask that they kind of stay put in their space. Um, and that essentially is what is allowing us to do this right now. The fact that we have this you know, real fixed hard barrier of another car between people means that we're able to do this and you know, keep social distancing and adhere to all the CDC guidelines in a, uh, you know, in a very unique way. So we're asking people to be super cooperative about this so that we can continue to do it. And uh, the bands as well, they'll be, you know, uh, people will be wearing facial masks, you know, production, all of that. Um, we're gonna be bringing back our volunteer ushers who will be helping us out that night. We'll have our production and stage crew and front of house folks all on hand, just thrilled to be welcoming people back to see uh, live performing arts as well as movies. And um, we really hope people come out. Morrissey Boulevard is going to kick it off with energy. And they're really a homegrown uh, band with uh, who's been very successful as well as I want to mention extremely generous. And they've um, I know that they've played for a lot of uh, nonprofits and fundraisers in the area. So uh, lots of organizations very grateful to you guys for all of that. And it's just going to be a great fun night um, out when we've all been so cooped up. And um, we're, we're just thrilled to be able to uh, offer these opportunities to both the community and to artists. Yes. Yeah, it's important to know, and I put the link in there, we put it a few times, tickets must be purchased in advance online. There's not going to be a box office on site. Each ticket emits one car, regardless of the number of occupants. Entry is one hour before showtime, so you got to get there, you know, before it starts. Um, smaller cars will be directed to the front. Uh, you can sit and stand in an empty spot adjacent to the left of your vehicle. And if you get out of your vehicle, you should have a face covering. There will be restrooms available. Mm -hmm. um, you can use that. Food and beverages are permitted, so you can bring that with you. Uh, obviously, you know, don't throw that stuff on the ground. Bring it with you. And whatever you bring in, bring out with you and your wrappers, that kind of stuff. And sound will be broadcast to your car radio. So that's kind of old school, huh? The old car radio way. Yeah. I also want to mention uh, no alcoholic beverages, um, no smoking of anything. Um, you know, obviously uh, nothing illegal. And um, but we do want to encourage people to stop and, um, you know, pick up some food at the local restaurants, grab something to go and uh, bring it in with them and eat in their car or eat in their lawn chairs, um, you know, adjacent to their to their vehicle and really enjoy the night and all that New Bedford has to offer. Yeah, yeah support local business is it's if you're not familiar again it's right at the c street ferry wales 2 parking lot if you put 532 ashley or excuse me 532 Kushner ave into mm -hmm. your gps you'll find the location it's it's right kind of right off of route 18 and you have plenty of restaurants downtown to pick up food and, and head over there um and no alcohol uh and we're gonna do and just to really show off morrissey boulevard we're gonna coordinate after this to get a stop by there you guys can hear the great sound that they have to offer before they actually go on and play on thursday so thanks for tuning in and uh thanks for you guys showing off what you have and talking to us and we'll actually see you soon so i'm gonna send you guys I'm going to go through uh, Zytirin and get you guys a message. We can swing by there and bring our sound system so you guys can play a few songs for us. It would be beautiful. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you to the uh, New Bedford Guide for creating this unbelievable platform where, where it's an honor to be on you on here. All right. Thanks so much. Tell your dad I said hi, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Absolutely. Thank thanks, so Mike. Much. Thank We're you, so Rosemary. Excited. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mike, one, one other thing. I do need to thank a few folks. Um, in addition to Morrissey Boulevard and the great bands that are going to be performing, I also want to thank the city of New Bedford for being extremely cooperative and sharing our vision 
of uh, this drive-in as well as the Port Authority and their commission and C Street, um, our sponsors and donors and supporters of all kinds for um, being patient with us and uh, hopefully we'll be supporting this endeavor as well and coming on down uh, to New Bedford to have some great entertainment. We all are ready and need it. Yeah, yeah and, and besides supporting the restaurant, support the Z because the Z does offer some amazing entertainment. They bring it in. We've been covering a lot of their shows uh, over the years and it's, it's something that you really need to support or it could go away and we want people to go and support the organization that really does do a lot for the community, it does a lot of they bring people in from around the world and it's, it's great going there all the time. Um, it's also the, the location where the New Bedford Symphony Orchestra performs. It's not affiliated with the Z, but they use the same building there and they're performing there. And it's something that we got to support because we don't want to lose any kind of arts in the community. And it's something that we know you've been hit hard with this thing, you know, having to mm -hmm. shut down. So this is a chance to, to support the Zaytan Theater. I'm glad to hear the city's been doing great and opening the way for you to do this. So uh, Mayor Mitchell's been a pretty good fan of the Z. I think he's done a lot with the movie theater. The, you know, you guys raised the money to get the uh, movie nights and have that projector. And we've had a lot of great things in there. So this is something we really need to get out and support. So we're going to push it hard for you guys this week. So so we'll see you guys soon. All right. I'll send you guys a message and we'll, we'll get you guys some a chance to show some airtime here. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Take it easy.